Welcome back to Desert Armageddon. And already Ryoko putting in those punches. Grapples Kione, who reverses the grapple. And now, Kione setting Ryoko up with some sort of a submission. Applying pressure on the arms and the back. Ryoko was able to get out of that submission attempt. Grapples, puts in those chops, grapples again. Now does an arm flip takedown. And a leg drop to the arm of, of Kione. Yeah, Kione is now being sent to the turnbuckle area where Ryoko is about to execute a rolling power bomb off of the turnbuckle. And now Ryoko is a, was applying the triangle hold, but Kione easily got out of that one. And now Kione was trying to fight back with that grapple attempt, but got reversed with the backdrop delivered by Ryoko Hokuto. Now Kione's is sent to the turnbuckle by Ryoko. And now what's she up to? She's going up on top. Ryoko Hokuto with a superplex. A superplex. And now she's saying it's time to end this once and for all. Irish whip by Ryoko. Oh man, nicely reversed by Kione. Kione. With a scissor sleeper hold. Yeah, Kione is not only good with the technical stuff, but she's also good with the with the submissions. And now being sent back inside the ring by Ryoko, who goes up on top. Ryoko with a diving body press. Definitely taunting Kione. And now going for a grapple attempt, which gets blocked by Kione. Dang, he puts her up on her shoulders there, trying to go for a for a Samoan drop or whatnot. Dang, walking around with her. And ends up getting planted with a DDT by Ryoko. And now Ryoko is setting her up. The Northern Lights Bomb! The Northern Lights Bomb! Will this do it? One, two. two! No! Only got two! Dang, that was a close one for Kione. Oh man, Kione would have countered arm drag. And now Kione is setting Ryoko up with a Tiger Bomb pin. The Tiger Bomb pin. Will this do it? One, two, no, only got two. And now Ryoko's fighting back, putting those punches and drop kicks to Kione, the Brontosaurus. Now dragging her back in the middle. Oh man, another cross head scissors takedown. And now Kione takes Ryoko off her feet. Goes for a leg drop or whatnot. Oh man, nice kick. And now grapples. Ryoko about to go for some sort of a move, in which she does a swinging net breaker. Youch! A low blow by Ryoko. I guess she's trying to fight dirty in this match. And now working on the legs of Kione. Oh boy. And now Ryoko, with those multiple leg drops, goes up on top. Tries to go for another diving diving uh, body press, but ends up missing that one, missing that target. Ryoko with another back suplex on Kione. An Irish whip. Now going up on top. Ryoko trying to go for a diving elbow drop, but missed that one. As Kione grapples, gets reversed. Belly to belly suplex by Ryoko Hokuto. And now Ryoko about to set Kione up with the Northern Lights driver. This has to be it. She's going for the cover. One, two, three. Ryoko Hokuto picks up the win here at Desert Armageddon. Yep. Chiyoko. Tokyo's own Ryoko Hokuto with an impressive victory over the Brontosaurus Kione. Yeah, big ups to both of these ladies for putting on a great match. Especially Brontosaurus Kione, who gave it her all in this match, but it wasn't good enough against Ryoko. Well, anyway, 
Dang, if she pull off more victories like this, she, she just might be in contention for a shot at the MWE Women's Championship. Yeah. Great match. Victory goes to Ryoko Hokuto. Anyway, coming up next is the main event that you all been waiting to see. I'm talking about this match. Kapenj Mabula and Melanie, representing the Coffee Empire, go up against Gilbert and, and his mystery tag team partner in a False Count Anywhere mixed tag match. Please, do not go anywhere. We will be right back. Really, don't go anywhere. 